I'm going to be reviewing a special beer tonight. Uh, I say this because, well, I'll explain it later. So tonight I'm going to be having the Abyss by Deschutes Brewing. It's their 2009 batch. Now, that may ring a bell for you guys, the fact that it's a 2009 Abyss. Well, I found out this morning, this whole ordeal, that um, the 2009 Abyss is known for it to be infected, and I was really bummed out about that. I actually found out through a Bitter Poet Man's review and <laughs> somewhat hilarious but very honest thoughts on this beer. Um, the reason why is because it is on their higher end, so it's more on the expensive side. It could range from $12 to $18. Um, but to me, because I found out about this, I just wanted to find out. Because if it's going to be bad, I would rather have it now than later. So, I mean, not to be too much of a pessimist, but this is a lose-lose situation for me because if it's going to be bad, it's bad. If it's going to be good, then I just realized that I was cellaring this beer for a long time and I could have waited till this November, then it would have been perfectly two years. So I am bummed, but I do want to find out what's up with this beer. So anyways, just for you, know, you guys to know, the Abyss is an imperial stout, and it is a stout brewed with licorice and molasses. That's an interesting combination. And 33% uh, of it is aged in oak and oak bourbon barrels. So far I've read, it seems like half of Beer Advocate's posts, which were a bunch of, half of the users had infected bottles, the other half didn't. So there's a possibility that it's okay, but... We're going to find out, so let me go ahead and uh, open this. Hopefully it's not going to explode or anything. And I do not know how to open these wax bottle ones. Okay. So far it smells okay. Alright, let me give this a try. I'm just... If it smells okay, I'm going to be bummed. If it's going to taste bad, I'm going to be bummed. Alright, um... Well, why don't we just proceed this review as if everything's okay, that there's no, no bad news from this beer. Okay, it smells uh, somewhat roasty. Roast from the malts. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm smelling some other ingredients. Now, this is still a little bit cold for my taste. I would, would rather have this be closer to room temperature, but it is what it is. Uh, it has some a really nice mocha color lacing. The head is smell uh, looks nice. Yeah, it's like uh, I'm definitely smelling something else. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the molasses and licorice, the mix of the two. Um, I mean, I've had this before. I've had this year's 2010s. Uh, it's January right now, and it's it, one of them was on the roasty side. It's still good. The other one's heavy on the bourbon. It just, you know, it's a natural thing for craft beer. It's just not going to be completely consistent. It's, it's difficult to execute that. There are some breweries that do that well, like Stone does. Um, well, it smells okay. There's, like, something s slightly there. I don't know if it's a bad thing or a good thing, so I'm going to find out, so come by. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for watching, folks. Goodbye. <laughs> um, you know, it tastes okay. So, so far, it's actually... I'm a bit relieved. But at the same time... I'm smelling something else. Mm. I mean, mouth feels okay. It's like average. You know, I mean... It doesn't taste bad at all. I, I might be lucky in a way where it's, it doesn't have the sourness, this noticeable sourness, but it's not as good as a fresh one, which means that maybe it just turned out to be an okay batch, most likely not infected, but it was just okay, and I'm just aging an okay abyss, which is hard to say. Maybe it actually balanced out that it's actually a really good one, and it was just slightly infected. I'm, I'm not quite sure. but. I'm actually getting um, more coffee notes than, than I'm used to getting from the Abyss. But it's some strong coffee going on in this batch, or this bottle here. 
So yeah, I don't know. It just tastes okay. Maybe there's a slight sourness I'm starting to notice now. But, um, you know what, let me warm it up and get back to you on it. Hey guys, I'm back. I had to ask some of my roommates their opinions just so I, I'm not just being crazy. But pretty much what I just told you guys is kind of what it is. It's, it's a bit roasty, it starts off. And towards the end, it has some weird, like, slight sourness that finishes off. Which, in a sense, if this was, in fact, a sour stout ale, it would have been successful. I really would. Um, my roommate, John, said that he notices something funky in the smell. But it's not astringent. It's not bad. And not only that, it's actually drinkable. So, I think the fact that I opened this up early as I did, which is like a year and a half, was a good idea. Because otherwise it possibly could have gotten worse. Uh, worse. So, you know what? It's, it's really not that bad. I think, although I said it was, it's a lose-lose situation, I think it's in fact a win. Because I opened it up early enough and I cooled it early enough that it just didn't turn out to be as bad as it could have been. So, this is just to let you guys know about this beer. The 2009 Abyss, uh, half of it has gotten infected. I think I got a semi-infected one, so I'm not too bummed out about it. But, at least 2010 is in fact okay. So, you guys may feel free to get a 2010 Abyss. It is a good beer. Um, certain ones, like I said, has stronger bourbon notes. Certain ones are more roasty than others, but overall it is a well-balanced Imperial Stout. It's really good. So, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in another beer vlog. Come by!